Hello everybody and welcome back to more Ask Angel Tune. This is now episode 3 of this as well. I'm pretty sure we know the rules here. You just ask me a question and I simply answer them. And uh, without being said, uh, let's start answering the questions. So here we go. Okay, this, this first question is by Infinite Ninja. One, if you were in the Star Wars universe, what color would your lightsaber be? Two, do you have a favorite DreamWorks movie? And three, least favorite vegetable. All right, for one, I think it's pretty obvious what color my lightsaber would be. I'm pretty sure it would be blue. I don't see why it would not be blue. I mean, it's obvious because, I mean, not because of the color of my clothes or anything. <laughs> uh, no. Two? Um, I love multiple DreamWorks movies, actually. There are multiples of them I like. I don't really know I have necessarily a favorite. I could name a few DreamWorks movies that I actually did enjoy a lot. Now, repeat a lot. The first one being Shrek 2. Another one being the Captain on a Pants movie. There's also, uh, Kung Fu Panda. There's that too. That, that, that movie is pretty interesting. I like that one. I could go on, but let's move forward to, the, to his third question. My least favorite vegetable. That's actually a hard one, because, I mean, I usually eat my veggies. Uh, I think my least favorite would have to be be the spinach. I think I tried spinach before and I did not like it. Next question is by Explore Me Your Bro 91. One, what's a video idea you had that was either scrapped or never got around to doing? Two, have you ever considered working as an editor for major film or television companies like Warner Bros, Disney, etc.? And three, what's the funniest moment from behind the scenes in any video? Could a clip be displayed if you had the time to find one? Uh, one, I have multiple video ideas I had that were pretty much scrapped. Either because I lost interest in doing it, or um, could be other things as well. I could name multiples, but one of them I will list out, uh, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, uh, the Angel 2 movie, guys, I, I am truly sorry. They got scrapped like two times, guys. I am so freaking sorry. Uh, the first attempt was like from 2016. I canceled it because it was too much work. Uh, the second time from 2019, you know, th there was plenty of progress made, uh, but it's like, okay, I can't continue this anymore. To be fair, I'm kind of glad I kind of canceled it because I feel like the plot for it was pretty yeah. But if anyone's wondering if I would ever attempt once again for the third time, honestly, I don't know. Uh, even if I do, maybe we'll end up having a much better plot. Two, not really. I, I would not really plan on it. If I was to really work as an editor for, like, major films, or not really films, but, like, probably more for, like, animation stuff, I would rather have my own animation company. Thank you very much. I plan to have one. Sometime soon in the future. And if I do end up having one, I will most definitely be an editor for this one. Most definitely. And three. Gosh, there's like multiple funny moments from behind the scenes. I could display a clip right here. I don't know one yet, but I'm pretty sure I'll figure out during the editing of this video. So, uh, whatever the funniest moment is will be displayed right now. <laughs> And you're just like, what did I just eat? I can't tell whether I like it or hate it. It's because I peed in it. That's why it's yellow. <laughs> no! No! That's disgusting. How dare you? That is disgusting. And especially in front of Angel. Dude, that is disrespectful, man. That is nasty. That is beyond nasty. Oh my god. Dude. Okay, that is completely out of context, dude. That, that was like nasty. the best outtake I ever took. Clone, just be careful when you're doing that, because that can lead to jail time, dude. <laughs> and with that, we're moving on to the next one. Okay, next question is by Brought11. One, when did you first get into Gary's mod? And two, this next question may be silly for him asking, but... Would you rather consider making a video about Pitcher Man and Luciana ending their relationship, or at least on their own adventure, you don't like the first idea? One, if I may be honest, I've been into Gmod for like a pretty good while. Pretty much before I even ended up getting Gmod itself. Like, I've seen multiple Gary's Mod videos as a kid. I've always wanted to get Gary's Mod as a kid, just to mess around, joke around for funnies. I'll confess, I tried to pirate it once. 
that flop. But in 2017, I managed to get Gary's mod on my computer, and I had a lot of fun with it ever since, and started working on doing, uh, Gmod videos back in the near end of 2018. And I still do these videos to this day. Yeah! And to... Why do you want the relationship to end? Guys, I don't think he likes Pigeon Man and Lucian being together. I think we need to cancel him on Twitter. Don't worry, I'm joking. I'm not really gonna do that stuff. But them going on their own adventure would be interesting if they end up getting in enough attention, that is. Which, uh, I don't know they really are. Are, are they- are they actually? Next question is by Fluff Powder. One, how are you doing today? That's it. That's the question. That was so basic of you. But I'm doing all right. Thank you so much for asking. Next question is by Tony Peacock. Hi, Angel Tune. I love your Splatoon 3 streams. I hope I get to play with you someday. Anyways, I have some questions for you. One, when is your birthday? Two, when did you start your YouTube channel? And three, what was your first video you uploaded on your YouTube channel? Before I answer the question, thank you so much. I do stream Splatoon 3 time to time, mainly when there's a Splatfest happening. And hey, Maybe you will be able to get to uh, play with me someday. Who knows? Anyways, one, my birthday is actually on February 25th. Two, I started back in July 19th of 2016, but I did first upload it a day after my channel was made. And my first video was actually a Roblox video called Roblox Simon Says. It was a basic Roblox gameplay. There was no voice commentary that came from me. So uh, my voice was never displayed. I basically used a Roblox recorder and, uh... <laughs> uh, that one guy in the video did not like me. And I took that personally. Next question is by Cartoofan18. One, how do you feel about Nickelodeon's new brand? And two, what's your opinion on the high Squidward beam? First off, I don't really care that much of the new rebrand. I mean, it could have been worse, but I just don't really care about it. And two, I swear word. Okay, for real though, I love that meme. It's so funny. Next question is by 730 sub. What is your reaction when you heard the news about Funko sending 30 million dollars worth of Funko Pop to landfill? Wait, did he actually? Okay, well that's interesting. Thank you for that lovely fact. Next question is by Super Ultra Instinct Fiery. Okay, here's my set of questions. One, what type of memes do you like? Two, have you heard of other video games besides Sonic, Zelda, Kirby, and Mario? And three, what did you use to animate some of your videos? For one, it depends on the memes, really. I mean, there's variants I do like, and uh, I will confess I do like some dark memes as well, but I have a limit on those. I most certainly do have a limit. I don't know. I just don't really mind any memes in general, as long as it does entertain me in some way. I like it. Two, I mean, obviously I did. Since some of those games I know was not mentioned in your little comment, I will now say them out loud. Kid Icarus, Splatoon, Smash Brothers, Ball Guys, Among Us, Metroid, F-Zero, Earthbound or Mother, Pokemon, Final Fantasy, Fire Emblem, Banjo-Kazooie, and that is where I'm gonna be stopping with this list because if I continue any further, the list is gonna go much longer and the video itself will go longer and that's not something we're gonna do. This is not what it feels about. And three, that really depends on the video. There are days where I use Gary's Mod, but other times I use Miku Miku Dance, and I use Miku Miku Dance since 2017. I still use it to his day, actually. I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit better with it. I won't say by a lot, but you know what? I've been trying to improve. Oh yeah, check out this Sonic Run cycle I did make the other day. Please tell me you guys liked it. I spent hours on it. Next question is by Mr. Brown 450 What is your opinion on the XC community? A waste of time. We're moving on to the next question. <laughs> Excuse that previous response. What I meant to say was the XC stuff itself is overrated, mostly cliche in different ways. I mean, everywhere you go, you would probably see multiple Sonic.exe clones all over the place. And all of those are just cliche. It's basically Sonic.exe with but with different characters. It's just so unoriginal. I mean, not all are like this, but like I, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, there are some good XE games, and I mean actually good, 
Like, there's an actual story behind it. Anything that's a side egg C-clone, they're just unoriginal. It's the same. It's just lazy. I just feel like these people just don't really have any original ideas with this stuff. Uh, I feel like it's gonna lead to a debate in the comments, but, uh... You wanna- Nah, you know what my opinion stands? I feel like this whole thing was a waste of time. I'm just gonna move on. Next question is by Samantha Goodman. Do you ever try a chocolate muffin? I think I have. I mean, I've had a muffin before, but I'm not sure about a chocolate muffin. I think I've had one. I mean, those are pretty good. I'm pretty sure. I, I no, I, I'm being serious. I, I don't remember ever if I ever had one. I feel like I have, and I liked it. If I go to the store next time and there's any chocolate muffins available, I will most certainly buy one and eat one just to make sure my opinion still stands. Next question is by Kirby Strong5919. What was the one thing that was super monumental to you so far in your life? Oh my God. That's actually a really good question, because there were so many great things that happened to me in my life. I mean, sure, there were also negative things as well, but, I mean, there's been a lot of great moments that happened to me. But I'm not sure which one was, like, one of the best ones. That's really hard to answer. I think if I have to choose, because this took a lot of thinking, honestly, it would probably be forming a very, really great community, you know? The Angel Tune community itself, I mean, sure, not all of it was, like, really good and rather concerning in some ways. But, I mean, of course, there's always normal people in the community as well. I, I can tell they really have a heart. It, in ways, I can sense the respect. It is rather a warm community. And I just like seeing it. I just like seeing a really good community who's always here supporting, standing with me throughout hard times as well. It's like, dang, I have a really great community, honestly, guys. No, for real, guys, you, you guys are amazing. I, I do love you guys to death. I hope you guys remember that. You better remember that, guys. Next question is by UV Tunes. Which famous YouTuber would you want to meet IRL? Okay, another good question, except like, yeah, honestly, I don't know. I mean, yeah, sure, I watch some YouTubers, but I wouldn't really say I want to meet them one day. Does Ethan B206 count, even though we're just friends? I mean, he's still a YouTuber regardless. I mean, I mean, listen, listen, hear me out, guys. It would actually be great if we actually ever ended up meeting in person. That would be awesome. Ethan, if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you would think the exact same way. I am pretty sure. <laughs> Keep in mind, he made a joke about it once in one of his videos. Let that sink in, guys. Let that sink in. Next question is by Book2. Does that boy appear in Kermit Croaks and Choosing Dares when Kermit steals cars from car dealerships? I mean, not always. It's not, it's not really just car dealerships. I mean, Kermit literally stole something from Best Buy and that boy was going to go there. Keep that in mind as well. Don't even ask why that boy is like appearing so often. I, I, I guess he likes cars. So I, I don't know. Next question is by I'm Dylan. What kind of gifts did you get for your birthday? Okay, guys, I'm pretty sure he's referring to uh, my 20th birthday, which was this year. Well, all I can say is uh, one of them being, I don't remember, was it like, I think it was like $500, $100, $300. I, I honestly forgot. I, I had, I did get birthday money from my parents, though. So I'll say for one thing, I did. And uh, also, I did get birthday gifts from uh, multiple friends and fans. They created a uh, birthday art for me. I got plenty of those and uh, much appreciated. I actually enjoyed looking at them. Those were very nice to see. For those who made those, I thank you. They looked great. Next question is by Evan the Inkling Child. One, what's a goal you have for 2023? Two, do you currently have a favorite singer or song band? If so, who is it slash who they are? And three, why did you do this? One, okay, I'm not so sure about goal for 2023. I, I, I'm just hoping it's gonna be a better year than 2022. I mean, I do have multiple goals, so hopefully get my license this year. Uh, hopefully be able to lose some weight this year. Maybe get to 15k subscribers this year, if that would be nice. Uh, two, I don't really have one. I mean, just any song I end up listening to, I'm gonna keep repeating the song. It could be from different groups, it can be from different singers. I, I just don't have a favorite. And three, I don't know. Why did you bother asking these questions then? Next question is by KR Original. Memories questions. 
1. Do you still have old childhood games? 2. What was the first video ever made on your channel? And 3. Remember your old show, The Angel Tune Show? 1. I mean, obviously I do. Why would you think I would give those away? I would never do that. I like to relive memories, bro. 2. I'm pretty sure someone else already asked it, but I'll answer it again. It was a Roblox video, Roblox Simon Says. Upload back in July 20th of 2016. Yes, guys, that was my very first video. Three, I mean, obviously I remember it. Though I don't know that's something I want to look back towards. It looks cringy. Ah! All right, last question is by RJ Sky Blue Spitter, the thumbnail, and HT Banana 2K7. Okay, this is the only first time I'm going to make some questions. One, why did Zacho Jen say, I apologize if I pronounced it incorrectly, make his own errors? Two, did I ever remember what a chocolate muffin was looking like? And three, why is Thank Thingy making his own errors? One, I don't know who the guy is, nor do I care about that. Like, let them do their thing. Two, um, why are you asking me this? Do you remember what a chocolate muffin looks like? And if you don't, look it up! And three, uh, once again, I don't know who that person is. And once more, I don't care if this guy is making their own errors. As I said before, whatever makes them happy, let them do their own thing. As long as they're happy with it, I really don't mind. Whatsoever. And with that, that is it of the questions. If you want your questions to be in the next episode of Ask Angel Tunes, simply comment below. As always, follow the rules, which is in the description. Otherwise, uh, I'm not going to put those questions in the next video if you don't follow them. Duh. Until then, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.